Hello everyone, let's talk about working with your images in Blurb Book right. This is going to be a slightly longer how-to film because we have quite a few little things to cover. But up here under the Photos tab is what we call the Image Tray, and this is where all of the images that you've imported into the software will reside. But there's a lot of different ways that you can rank these and sort these that makes it easier for you to actually get your book completed. And those are all controlled here by these drop-down menus. The first drop-down menu says Imported. And when I click on that, it allows me to sort these images based on any of these criteria. I can do the imported date, the modified date, or I can even do file name, which is what I tend to do. The second drop-down menu, when I click, is about folders. This allows you to filter photos by the folder you imported them from. So when I click on this, I have the ability to hit all folders, and it shows every single photograph that I've imported. Or I can search by specific folders. And let's say that I'm only after my vacation photos. And here they are. This allows me to just quickly sort through that one specific folder of images. The last drop-down menu allows you to filter photos by whether or not they have been used in the book. So if I click all, right now it's got all my images in there. And if I click used in the book, I haven't used any of those and it takes them immediately away. Or I can show by unused in the book and it shows all the images I have yet to use. Now I use this quite a bit and I use it on the unused setting to show me which images I have remaining to fit into that book. Okay, so let's move on to how you actually get an image into the layout below. It's pretty simple. All you've got to do is select the image you want and drag it into, let's say, an image container that you've already previously made. Or I can take that same image or another image and I can just simply drag it onto the spread below. Now, once it's on the spread, I also have a lot more control that I can take advantage of. I can simply grab a corner and drag and I can resize that image. Or I can grab, let's say, just one side of that image and I can crop or I can use this little hand feature in the center, and the hand is how you would actually move an image inside the container without actually moving the container. Again, that's a, that's a tool I use all the time. Now what happens if I just click on the image itself? It brings up this control box that allows me to control all aspects of that image. I can move it forward in the design, I can move it backwards, I can fit to frame, I can fill the frame, or I can even do things like rotate. Look at that, how schnazzy is that? So I can flip the image, I can change the color, put a border on it, and this is also another area where I can zoom. So as you can see, you have infinite control over your images, how you sort them, how you rank them, and how you bring them into the document. And that, in a nutshell, is how you work with images in BookRite. Good luck and happy bookmaking.